<coughs> My name is Uldis and in this video I will show you how to install EVE uh, Community Edition from our ISO CD image into the ESXi system. So what do we need? Go to our website eve-ng.net, downloads EVE-ng and download one ISO image from any of them. I already downloaded so I will go to my remote server which is there and I will start to deploy and tune my machine. So I'm going here and let's start. We can use uh, we can use vSphere client yeah, so to start to start to create this machine, but we can we can use as well uh, the web user interface which is uh, which is implemented on the newest e ESXi which is 6.0 and 6.5. My case it is a 6.6.0. So let's start. So we need to start a new virtual machine. It will be typical and it will be if com vm name so choose a data store which will be stored to your vm machine the next it is operating system linux and ubuntu ubuntu 64 bits oops centos ubuntu we need ubuntu 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 and the linux remember this important the choose which will be your interface management interface. My case it is management 90, which is now network of 90. So IP address will be assigned from my management network here. Network adapter for installation is is only one is necessary here. The next one, hard drive. It is very important that you think that you check thick provisioning zero uh, lazy zero it because sin is not good bad thick is good so assign as as much as you need so the my recommendation is to give it the 300 gigabytes but in in just for testing purposes i'm i'm giving just only 30. so the full eve in a future yeah it's a give as you can yeah it's a plenty of future and give it 300 gigs or 200 gigs something like that so thick provisioning good next and finish machine is created and let's tune let's tune it to start it first time so uh, edit virtual machine settings and I'm going to remove the floppy drive it's not necessary and we are going to CD CD drive and CD drive will boot from our ISO which I downloaded and shown before from our website I'm browsing now and looking in a data store yes I forgot to show you yet so how to load it disk how to load ISO ISO image the first you have to go here in your host summary and choose one store yeah, so for example, my case, I, I believe it was data story one. And yes, and I uploaded this image here, how I did it. Once you open and browse your data store, browse data store, you have an option, upload files to this data store. So I use this, this option, upload file, and uh, it's on data, I believe it was somewhere here. Uh, yes, here is it, and I uh, chosen I chosen this file and upload it to my data store. So it's here. So it's fine and already uploaded. So let's tune machine which I started. So I'm going to CD drive and check the data store file and don't don't forget to check connect and power on. He will start to boot from it. And in a data store, we are finding that's our Eve, Eve ISO image. It's here. Okay, good. So memory, now memory. Memory, give as much as you can. You can see that I can give it up to 64, even more. This, my host has 96 gigabytes yet, yeah, uh, but for testing purposes, I'm leaving just eight, 8 gigs or even 4 gigs. It's quite enough for test to show you and CPUs, CPUs as well. The my host having uh, 24 virtual, so it is six core two, six core CPUs. So virtual processors are two multiplied by 12. So I can give, for example, maximum what I can give, it is a 12 and two. This is a 24 virtual processors. For testing purposes, I'm not giving such, so I'm leaving as it is, so four, and one will be quite enough just to show you how to install this uh, Eve VM. VM. Okay, so I'm saying okay. So 
machine is tuned but not fully and now I'm going back to my my home home host so very very important thing which is still missed because from vSphere client which where I configured it and created and deployed this VM machine has big disadvantage they have not CPU EPT option to check on they simply have not so we have a three choices how to do it the first corporate one edition if you have installed the vCenter you can come here and find uh, find machine where is our machine refresh where is refresh should be okay let's check in such way discover it and you can see here is it if community machine I'm opening and edit virtual machine settings I'm going to CPUs and you can see you can see that exposed hardware assisted virtualization for ghost OS is off this checkbox must be on must be on it is very very important and mandatory so I'm not checking it now it's I will show you other options how to do it if you have a newer install at ESXi systems you will be able to access to your ESXi over web browser user interface from the web the same the same way you can open a virtual machines and here is our new virtual machine just implemented with the 30 gigabytes and if I'm opening edit and you will see similar similar options like it was in a vCenter I'm going to open a CPU and as well we can check this checkbox here all right and the third one if you have not if you have older version like 5.5 uh, ESXi 5.5 or you have not vCenter install it you have a third option how to tune it uh, so connect your open your VM workstation and connect to the remote server remote server is my ESXi so I'm going to connect to remote server it it is actually here yeah so I'm putting the my IP address of ESXi 192.168.90 and 90 uh, root and password all right and I'm saying to connect and here we are and you can see that where is our if com or not just a sec yes that's fine it's uh, just just need to need to click on if com vm and then it appeared here and you can check you can you can tune your cpu from vm workstation i'm going this is the same vm which i shown you in in a vcenter and the web browser user interface it is the same and I'm going to edit C processors and I'm checking this checkbox it is the same exposure hardware virtualization which I shown you before the same one you can uh, you can do it from VM workstation okay I'm saying okay it's done and now we can start the installation now we start to, now we can start the installation so come machine power on We are opening a console and the first first dialog appears so it will be English uh, it will be English install EVM it's fine English United States is fine and now you will see very interesting thing when you have not a DHCP IP address and I will do it manually so it is loading if you if you have DHCP server set up right and correct it will get the IP address from your DHCP and DNS IP and everything will be fine but you if you have not because in many ESXi, ESXi environments guys having having actually have not DHCP configured and in now I will show you so you can see the configuring the network with DHCP that my DHCP is switched off it is specially to show you how to configure it manually <clears throat> I will go to pause and when when it prompt I will be back now you can see it did not find 
IP from DHCP. So in this case, I'm saying continue and configure a network manually. You can see that configure a network manually is checked on. I'm enter. And here will be my IP address of my management. As you remember, it is assigned to my network interface, which is in subnet 192.168.90.0. So I'm giving one IP address from my network. 192.168.90 and uh, which are not in use, so I can't remember. Um, let's say 190. 190 is not in use and I'm saying continue. Mask is 24. With tab, with tab you can you can move move select options. So mask is 24. My gateway is 90.1. Again tab continue. And name server address. This is very very important that you are putting the right name address which is which is working and responding to the internet and can reach name it pings or, or name it internet. So. 201. It's my server here. 201. Yes. Okay. Continue. Hostname. I'm leaving as it is. Continue. Domain name. Uh, by default, in our VM machines, are example.com. But you can use your own. So I'm using eve.lab, for example. Continue. And location if you configure it right and your dns are responding you can see that immediately contacting to the internet and he found that your server it's my server is located in Riga, latvia and europe and he found that my server is located there and clock is configured properly this is a first sign that your dns is working properly sometimes of course it cannot find which location you are yes yeah, or maybe dns or our ntps block it but it is not not a problem once you are sure that your DNS is working properly, everything is fine. So I'm saying yes, just hit enter and installation starts. On every prompt which will appear, so I'll be back, so I'm going to pause now. It is offering me to configure a proxy if you are installing for your cor corporate and so let's say corporate network and if you are using HTTP proxy you can configure it here but I will not show because it's very simple and uh, advice is given how to do it so I'm I'm hitting tab to continue marking marking continue and hit enter so it's continue to install so uh, here I'm choosing uh, choosing arrow down and install security updates automatically. Hit enter. Once again, if you have configured a DHCP address, all these steps which I shown you how to enter the manually IP settings will not be in your installation. I just shown you if you have not DHCP. If you have DHCP, the first steps where, where I configured the static IP address and enter it all manually will be skipped. Will be skipped. Itself, if installation from ISO CD, it, it is in two parts. The first part, it is installing Ubuntu server, which is going, which is running right now. One, it, once it finishes it, so soon it should be should finish and it let me wait just a second and I will show you what I'm doing next so the first stage is finishing now here we are and it's saying remove the installation media from your VM machine never because we just finished it only the first stage of installation so what I'm going to do I'm going to check if if everything is fine, if everything is fine in my VM settings with CD, because the next installation he must read CD again. And where is my CD? CD is here. And connect on power on. Just be sure that connect on power on is is okay. So it is okay, and I'm continuing my installation, and the second part of installation will start now. Enter.
it's going to auto reboot and we'll start to install install E from CD so I'm going to pause and prompt I'll be back so the second stage is looks like is done but not yet so the couple of last steps left so I'm going to uh, log in into my uh, VM so root and by default it's Eve and you can see the IP setup wizard which is now for Eve ng IP setup the first one setup we did it for Ubuntu and the second will be the same IP addresses do not mess use the same IP address which you set up before so I'm saying Eve even I'm typing but you can't see yeah it's it there Eve again so my host name is Eve ng and example so I I gave it it was eve.lab okay and static IP address arrow down mark with spacebar static okay and you remember 192.168.90.190 it was IP address which I gave for Ubuntu server it is the same here enter mask 24 okay and the gateway 192.168.90.1 okay dns 192.168 all same what i did before that 201 and the second gateway uh, second dns you can give is some open open dns ip okay and the ntp is not necessary in it is direct connection so machine is going to reboot Pause. you can see machine is booted and now I'm going to root the last step left if and saying uh, try if everything is fine you have to reach uh, name it pink so I'm going to pink 3 wsgooglecom yes you can see that it's success and I can I can do update and upgrade to two option <clears throat> two last steps so I'm going up to get update pause so update is finished and the next last last command is up to get upgrade yes on prompt answer yes going to pause on this prompt just just simply hit enter just simply hit now you can see the installation is complete and I'm saying reboot last time So you can see machine is booted and we can check and test how it works. 192.168.90.190 Here we go. Admin and the password is if. This video was a little bit longer but it will avoid many questions. Many questions from you. It's and I think it will be helpful helpful for you and thank you very much for viewing.